We made it to London. Next stop is Gigi? G G Riga. Riga. That was way off. <laughs> and then to Lithuania. We're getting there. You're robbing stealing stairs from the whole room. We're far apart. Let's bring it together. I think I'm free. Welcome to Lithuania. Lithuania. This is uh, not my regular vlog. Obviously, we don't do travel vlogs, but this is what I'm doing this week. So I thought I would film it and show you guys Lithuania and what better spot to start it off with at a Aviation Lithuania Museum. Lithuania Aviation Museum. It's got the symbol, the Lithuanian symbol. That's so cool. I know how this guy feels. <laughs> First kit plane? Yeah. Oh, check it out, guys. First kit plane. It's pretty sweet. <laughs> this is so rad. <laughs> First gliders. Which is pretty cool. There you go. So yeah. So cool. <laughs> oh my it's working. Gosh, look at this. Yeah, but this is oh, this is awesome. <laughs> wow. These two airplanes have flown across the Atlantic Ocean. Really? Okay. But it's vacant. Oh, but it's working and you can fly this. During that was, that was the airplane that you just showed me, right? Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's this replica. This is a replica, okay. yeah. In another it's museum, you can see the crash, yeah. like the parts of it, like real from the, the crash. Real. So cool. Ooh, Look at this helicopter. <laughs> Look at this glider. Jeez. It's huge. I like this little glider. This Look at that thing. That's so cool. Wow. Cool. Old jet. Awesome. Check out this helicopter. This is the Lithuanian military sign. Look at this glider. This is freaking awesome. What? I want to fly that. It's even got the flap rounds like the Kit Fox. Look at that. Look at this glider. Oh my gosh, look at this cockpit. So tiny. That is so cool. And nice hang glider, old one. Another glider back there. These guys really like their gliders. Whoa, check this out. What? Oh my gosh. How freaking cool is this? What? Look at those rudder pedals. <laughs> That's so sweet. It's the freaking ladybug. That is awesome. Wow, what is this? It's a pusher of some sort. Man, awesome. What is this? A little two. Look at these two engines. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so cool. Wow. Wow, look at this gyrocopter. This little tow. You tow that thing. Oh, look at this thing. What is that? That's a big old... Oh, look at that canard. What? Holy chamoles. That is cool. And this thing? Wow. What are we missing back there? Oh, it's a, it's a motorized hang glider. Nice. Awesome. Okay. Let's go see what else we can find. A shadow, a shadow. From all, all the right. Martinkus. Right there, huh? Yeah. Look at this. Almost the same Martinkus. name. Martinkus. 
I think it's so now what was he famous for? No, kaip čia pasakyt. Tigras, tigras naikintojas, kuris ne nemėgsta, nemėgsta jokių taisyklių, nori viską laužyti, viską keist, viską vis vis kitaip daryt. Ir Lietuvoje buvo labai That is cool. This is the first drone. It's by First RC. Radio control mode. Yeah, those big old engines over there. Look at this big old freaking. Well, that's cool. The first generation turbojet engine. First generation turbojet engine. Check this out. This is a yak? Yeah. <laughs> wow, yeah. check it. Look at the helicopter back there. It's like a little mosquito. Mm -hmm. This reminds me of Mike. Hades new blades that he's gonna use on his scrappy build. These things are huge. Look how big those are. Oh my gosh. Nida. Nida. Oh yeah. Glider for Nida. Nida's uh, the national park here that we're gonna go to in a few days. Look at these guys. And girl. Hey. Another glider. These guys really like their gliders. Thank you. I too. Guys, so back in the Soviet Union times, if you wanted an airplane, the only way to get one was to build your own. And uh, we're showing you, which this does not look like an experimental to me, but this is a twin engine um, eight seater that is uh, experimental. Well, whoever built this knew what they were doing. It's a little over my head building something like that. Way cool. That was so fun. Now we are going to a, another museum. Ninth Fort. Ninth Fort, which is a kind of a sad place because it's where a lot of Germans killed Jews. And uh, yeah, we'll tell you more when we get there. Yeah. Okay, we made it to Ninth Fort. This is a pretty historical uh, place here in Lithuania because of this is where Germany killed the most Jews in one single day, and it has a lot of other historical value. But I want to do a proper introduction of Sylvia's parents. Hi. This is my parents, my dad Rolandus, Hi. my mom Rosina, and my friend Laura. Yay! Yay. <laughs> I'm going to be staying with them for this uh, couple weeks. So they're wonderful. I'm having so much fun. They're showing us Lithuania and I'm excited to see this museum. This uh, structure is quite crazy, <laughs> I will say. This is crazy, huh? Apparently that they're uh, two meters thick, this wall. Original. Now is this when Russia had this or in German? Yeah, these are Russians. These are Russians. Yeah. Wow. So if there's an explosion, yep. so these walls are made so one of the walls takes the explosion but the other one is not touched pretty much. And this is where ammo used to be. Okay. So all the ammunition when like explode, like all the oh, balls for the, I don't know how you call it. Okay, but the are here. Back in the day, everyone was a lot smaller. Yeah. So these tunnels are a lot shorter, but uh, so you gotta watch your head if you're tall. <laughs> They're actually very. You and me has to. And so this is a, uh, gun that they used to put right here and uh, be able to shoot 
they have insulation and then the exhaust for the exhaust. But I don't know if you guys can see, but these walls are so thick. I mean, wow. No wonder this place never got destroyed. This tunnel is at 100 and what? 40 meters long. 140 meters long. Wow. This is for ventilation. All doors. Really cool. I know. Wow. And these would go, when you close the door, then it would go with those, so it would make it even more secure. What it looks like from the air. God. Jesus. Oh, it feels like tank. 200 people were imprisoned in this and other cells. In oh, 200 people. Yeah, that was. That's really sad. That was really sad to see kind of this place. Originally, this was built by the Russian Empire. Yeah. First. Um, as like a prison place and then Germany came in during World War One yeah. and took it over and that's when all the sad stuff started to happen. So this is the field of mass massacre. Of the mass massacre where 50,000 people like total were killed. Total were killed. But the memorial is quite amazing. Pretty surreal, you know, you see like the movies, all the, with Hitler and Nazis and, I don't know, they're just movies, but when you're here, it's just... What? Just out in the middle of nowhere, seriously, we're just driving along, and Sylvia's like, oh, here it is. I was like, what is this? Can we stand up there? Yeah, it's like a scenic lookout place up there. Okay. All right, we gotta get the drone. Town back at the end. This hole. Oh, you're filming. Yeah. Keep I going. Don't... You're doing so good, and then all of a sudden the camera. And you're, like, <laughs> I know. Oh. you're like this hole. So this is a small peninsula outside. On the coast. Yes. So the sea is just right over here. Yeah, we have Baltic. We have sea. not seen it yet. We just got here. This is so beautiful. Okay, so. Where are we going to go see? We're going to go see cormorants and gray herons. Okay. So they poop. So these cormorants and gray herons, their poop has acid in it. Or something like it. And it actually kills the trees. And wow, it totally does. And you can see all their nests. So these gray herons and birds, cormorants, cormorants what they're trying to do is kind of wipe their nests out. Oh, wouldn't like so it doesn't thicker. So it doesn't kill off the forest, but yeah. This is kind of cool to see the forest is yeah. actually dying right here, but this is their little spot. <laughs> okay, where are we? We are at the dead dunes. How do you say? It? Gray dead dunes. Gray dead dunes. Yeah. You can see the Baltic Sea over there. And uh, the legend behind this is there used to be a town here. Or a village. Or a village. And these sand dunes uh, covered up 
village. Yeah. So then the village no longer exists. And now it's just sand, but it's so beautiful. Just the colors. This is deserty. Rachel, 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 Rachel. I now learned the word for my faster Rachel. I'm Lithuanian, which is good because I'm always telling Sylvia, faster, faster. Stop. And now I can be like, Rachel, Rachel. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, wow. Let's go up this. Yeah. Oh, no, it's too cloudy. We made the sunset, kind of. Very <laughs> set, but it's still super beautiful. Wow, so beautiful. Good morning, guys, from last, well, it's just like afternoon. We were so jet lagged. Yeah. We. It's like noon or almost. I wake one. up at two in the morning and I'm awake till like seven and then I fall back asleep and then we wake up at like 10. But uh, this day we actually slept all yeah, the way to 10. So it was really awesome. We are now at Parnitas Dune. Parnitas Dune. Um, and this is here by Nita. This is quite the sculpture. That's a, that's a, a sun watch. Oh, a sun watch. Yeah. Oh, this is a sun watch. Oh, that's cool. We need you the sun though. When the sun shines. And then we could like, you yeah, it shows you the time. Anyways, this place is beautiful. We got the Baltic Sea on that side, and I still don't know what we call this. Kushamados. on that side, and sand dunes and trees. So I'm gonna get the drone out, show you guys more of this place. This is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my type of place. Where are we? We are at the runway airport. Yep. Nida, Nida. Yeah, airport this is that cool. doesn't have any airplanes. Yeah, no airplanes, but I would love to fly in here. How cool would that be? We're gonna go check these goats out. Goats, come here. Oh, there's a lot of poop in here. Come here. Oh, you were just wonderful. Come here. Come here. What's your name? How'd those ones get over there? They escaped. I've been stepping in the poop. You can't. It's everywhere. This one needs to be milked. Oh, I like the furry one. You guys ever seen goats near a runway before? Yeah, that's a hawk. Yeah, it is weird that there's an echo. What? Go. Babe, I'm hanging out with... Fred, that one's Jim. Oh, this is really cool. This one's my friend. Well, I gotta say, I like the goat corral next to the runway. If you ever fly into Nitta, there could be some goats on the runway, so be careful. This is the road to the airport. <laughs> Hopefully this is the road to the airport. Yeah, I think it's over there now. I don't know. The hangar over there? We're down another dirt road. I think that's it? No. no, this way. I see an airplane. Gate. How do you go there? I don't think so. Yeah. We found the airport. 
we can't figure out how to drive there. So we're just walking across to this big hangar. This is really cool because, I don't know, it's just this super green lush grass and these <laughs> huge pine trees and this massive hangar over here. I'm excited to see what, what they have. And it's like, it's like the most beautiful evening right now. Yeah. This is so cool. Look at that. Hanging over there. Babe, no there's... Draggers. They're the Wilgas. Really? Yeah, they're two Wilgas. That's so cool. This is the same plane that Draco is, but Draco's like super modified. Yeah. I was like thinking, looks like Draco. So cool, two Wilgas. What? How freaking cool. Wilga 35. <sighs> Look at this thing. <sighs> Whoa. So cool. Wow. Wow. That's a really old airplane. <sighs> How cool is this? We are going to do this. We are going to do this. Ir, ir paskaitėm, kad čia yra tulektų vilga. Tai mes pasiliko mašiną ten, aš nežinau, kaip čia patekti. Nežinau, čia iš... This is so cool, huh? Yeah. This is actually really cool because I think this is their mower. And I've never seen anything like it. But I think it's so cool. We gotta go check out this guy. So it was like a military base that lived there in a house. Yeah. They lived this like illegally. They don't let them to do any commercial flying or any people here. Like no civilians allowed allowed in this area. That's why they don't have any like signs or anything online. Really? It's not like marked on the map that it's an airport because it's a military. Thing has seen some better days. Oh yeah. Wow. I didn't know that that's Draco. Yeah, this is this is a, what Draco came from. Yeah, look at these. How cool is this? Oh my gosh, and there's two of them. <sighs> wow, look at those seats. So old. This is so, this is like Soviet Union, right? I don't know. <sighs> I mean, this thing is probably not flown for so long. I want to open the door, but I better not. Yeah, it's, it's a Draco. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, we. I just looked over in this forest and I saw a bunch of wings. I got to show you guys. Wow. Stockpiled. Oh my gosh. All aluminum. I don't know what those are off of. Pretty sure they're not Draco wings. This is so cool. Like to see just the historic aviation, this airport. This is really awesome. Cousins. Yeah, Draco's <laughs> long lost cousins. I don't think there's that many of these Wilgos made either. So it's a really cool plane. But uh, yeah, we're stoked we found this place. Wish yeah. we were able to go for an airplane ride, but. It's okay. We're excited that uh, we were able to check it out. Apparently, there's some really cool vintage cars that we're gonna go check out. So we need some water to make cut it, please. These things. So weird. I think we're gonna see some really cool stuff. Oh, holy cow! We're gonna. Yeah. 